Someone has a lot of hope when it comes to you. Someone is trying to hold out or keep their faith when they know they have failed to bring you clarity. So I definitely feel this is someone who still feels there's chemistry between the two of you, but they are also afraid or worried that something has faded because of their constant pursuit of something or someone that has put them in a space where they haven't really been clear with you. Someone hasn't been clear when it comes to their intentions or just being honest, telling the truth. Telling the truth to spark some type of new beginning. This is someone who thinks about you often, thinking one day, somehow. This is someone who thinks about you in a way where there is a lot of regret. There's a lot of regret for what they've done. I feel for many of you, you feel like this energy has no remorse for anything that they have done because they have failed to speak to you or bring any type of truth or clarity to this. Yet I sense something is about to take place and someone knows they need to be graceful about it. I feel there's a lot of turmoil within a situation where something is about to be unexpected when it comes to reconciling, making amends or an opportunity. This is someone who's holding out hope when it comes to a second chance. This is someone who knows that the journey between the two of you was long, draining, and possibly even exhausting, especially for you. This has definitely been a long road that maybe pushed you to your breaking point. Now someone is longing for you after withdrawing from you. This energy could also be in the energy of solitary, wanting their space or needing their space from some type of conflict where they feel like they're losing hope, yet still attached to the memories. In fact, I feel this is someone who is dwelling on the memories where it may even be bittersweet, as I sense many of you have already made up your mind or drawn the line between the two of you. I sense in many ways this is someone who pushed you away emotionally, maybe even physically. When it comes to secrets, now they're thinking about the possibilities. Someone was definitely concealing something from you, causing a lot of differences and maybe even conflict, causing something to change abruptly. As I said before, this has been a long journey, a long journey where many of you are tired of compromising or overlooking someone's bad behavior. This is someone who is hoping to have a second chance, but they know they exhausted something. This could be all of their chances or the fact that they didn't bring clarity to you. This is someone who is being pushed to their breaking point and they're longing for you, but I feel this energy took a chance on a thrill or some type of false illusion that ultimately changed the chemistry. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who fantasizes or daydreams about a new beginning with you, trying again, releasing something to heal. But there's some type of hard fog when it comes to this energy who still may be dealing with some pride or arrogance where they're coming out as stubborn. I feel in many ways this energy send, sent a lot of mixed signals. There's a mix up when it comes to their emotions. Something needs to heal when it comes to something that they're holding on to or holding back. This is someone who needs to make a confession. Someone feels like they need to clean something up, send a message to you. Someone needs to make a confession when it comes to a family or some type of attachment, a third party, their peers. This could even be a pregnancy. Please take it how it resonates. Reverse the roads if necessary. But I definitely feel someone needs to make something clear when it comes to their peers, a family, or even a foundation. I feel like they don't feel secure. Someone made a lot of mistakes. That, are, that is no misunderstanding. Someone is coming out as lost while running from you. This is someone who pulls some type of disappearing act and they now feel invisible because of the choices that they've made or the attachments they are now connected to. I feel like this is someone who was easily distracted by a situation. This is what caused a change or delay when it comes to family or stability. 
And I said, someone just was bluffing, pretending, exaggerating something when it comes to a situation. I feel this energy was calling your bluff when they disappeared on you. This energy believed you wouldn't take something seriously. Someone definitely thought this was going to be temporary, so they avoid you. So I feel someone avoided you by blocking you out, pushing you away, knowing that you were a soulmate, someone who was meant to be in their life. This was also coming out as a deep connection where someone wasted a lot of time through distance and separation, causing something to be unclear and final. Wow. Someone is realizing the true connection that you both have together. Someone is also realizing they messed this up. Someone is realizing they didn't make something clear when it comes to their ego, their finances, their stability. Someone didn't make something clear when it comes to their choices, causing something to be a rocky road. I feel this is someone who was very elusive, causing a lot of confusion because they were unsure or unclear. So they played a lot of blank a lot of games being tricky or elusive within a situation where they're now wanting to return. Someone is realizing they are better off with you and they're just hoping that you haven't gotten too comfortable being without them. This is someone who wants you to have an open heart. This is someone who wants you to be receptive to what they need to say or what they need to reveal. Yet I also feel there is still something that this energy won't be real about. Something is still unclear here. There's why This is why there is deception or someone still being dishonest to a twin flame. I feel there's a lot of lessons to be learned between the two of you. I feel that you picked up the pieces and you have learned valuable lessons from this energy, whether it is about self or just about people or connections. And someone's thinking about it Someone is thinking about how they didn't offer you an apology because now that they want to return or say they're sorry, they feel conflicted about it. This energy feels conflicted about a choice. They feel distant because of the silence. There's no words between the two of you. And for many of you, I feel you reached out. There was some type of olive branch extended from you to them, yet this energy stonewalled you. Now there's a lot of emotions behind that, not accepting an offer or not taking you seriously. Now it seems they could be caught up in a false mindset, a negative mindset where they feel cursed. Someone knows they screwed this up, they're thinking about it, and I feel they're also craving you, wanting your attention, because something is definitely bittersweet. Someone could be spying, Someone believes they need to be charming or kind-hearted while reaching out to you. As I said, something unexpected has taken place. Something shocking has taken place with something where there is a lot of conflict. Someone's reflecting on the memories and the fact that they kept something from you. This is someone who is thinking about the possibilities, but I feel like you could be using your intuition to get through this. And this energy is going to have to do way more than hope to find a change with you. I feel this energy is still clinging to the me memories and also the possibilities, but they also realize the conflict they caused, ca caused gave more damage than they possibly thought it would. Hmm. Now they're wanting to burn away the memories of the past, especially when it comes to the harsher ones. As I sense this energy is having a hard time forgetting about you or even letting go. There's a lot of pain here, apprehensive energy as this energy is cautious and afraid. This could be your energy as well. Divine masculine energy here. Someone feels like you are the yin to their yang, but they're dealing with a lot of cause and effect and consequences. This is their karma. And this is why they're stressed out. I feel this energy is stressed, stressed and going through a lot of tension because of something that is destroyed or shattered with you. And they could be going through judgment for sitting in some type of illusion when it comes to you. I feel 
this divine masculine energy could be female or male please take it how it resonates but this is someone who is sitting in some energy that is really aggressive or overly stubborn where this energy is definitely lacking in importance value and respect this is someone who was unaware of the light you were in their life. Now you are sitting in a different energy, a different phase of life. Hmm. Finding your own peace through your own soul. I sense whatever was offered to this energy, you're now giving to yourself. Because this energy was so hollow, empty, and bored with the commitment, now they're going through a lot of loss and grief, even depression, thinking. You're better off without them. This is someone who fears being rejected, even though they know they disrespected this connection to the highest extent. Someone is still thinking about you, wanting to be attached to you, even obsessive about you. I feel for many of you, this is a past life connection where someone is experiencing deja vu. This is a repeating patterns of someone always going in circles or always doing the same thing over and over again especially when it comes to trust and loyalty this energy has been resistant yet consistent when walking away or being cold and now they could be stuck tied down or captive in their own web of lies i feel this energy is wanting to be in pursuit of you even though they thought you would chase now it seems you have found some type of peace or balance that they are now craving. Someone knows that they have a, a shallow victory or they were being shallow when it comes to you. Now they're sitting in regret because of how something backfired. I feel this energy is conflicted knowing that things are different now. You're different now. They feel like you won't accept them or even hear them out when it comes to forgiveness or an apology. I feel this energy has come to a realization that their mistakes made more confusion and damage than they expected, yet they're having to deal with this. Their pride, their mistakes, their anger, the distance, the distance they created because of their parties, someone regrets being elusive or running from this connection. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Yeah, this energy is wounded. There's a lot of guilt, even though they're not showing it. They're just wearing a band-aid. Someone was trying to band-aid this situation, and they're just trying to cover up old wounds. Hmm. Because this energy is lacking when it comes to friendship and maturity. So in so many ways, I feel this energy knows they were lacking when it comes to wisdom foresight and they judged you wrong or they took the wrong advice when it comes to you because you're not a band-aid you're the alcohol and it's going to burn when dealing with you you're not going to let this energy get away with something someone knows that they violated the friendship a twin flame connection they burn this to the ground pyro energy yeah someone definitely burned a bridge with you by taking risk where there was no reward I feel this is someone who has a very destructive nature due to their impulses. This is how they destroyed something with you because they were unclear about the connection they had. I feel this is someone who needs to gain in wisdom and stop covering up their wounds or not acknowledging their, their past or their problems. As this energy is coming out as a pirate, someone who is inconsistent, careless, selfish, yet still wanting to reconnect with you. This is someone who wants to communicate. They want to text, have some type of conversation, whether that's face to face or over the phone. Someone is wanting to reach out and see if you still care. Someone definitely burned this down to the ground. Now they're wanting to reconnect and communicate about how they feel, how they made you feel or how they dismissed your concerns or your emotions. I feel this energy was very aloof, unbothered, very distant, even pointing fingers. But I feel this was all attached to their insecurities. Someone was projecting their energy so they didn't have to be accountable. I feel this is someone who is coming out as fragmented, 
half of who they should be. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is half of who they should be. As it seems they could be battered or broken when it comes to a karmic influence, false energy, or the fact that they were wearing a mask, hiding something, concealing something because they wanted their freedom. I feel this is someone who is now in despair, sitting in doom and gloom, despair, real pain after what they put you through. I feel this energy is going through struggles financially, mentally, emotionally. There's a lot of friction when it comes to their thoughts. As it seems, this energy is struggling through their energy, knowing they had a, a stone heart when dealing with you. This energy is coming out as cold-hearted. This is why their heart is easily broken. Someone is definitely emotional, but hides it behind their false pride and their ego. This is someone who knows they can't numb the pain any longer. They can't suppress what they feel because they know they're unhappy. Someone is unhappy because of their relentless pursuit of something that only broke them down. <clears throat> now this energy feels like a fool. Now they're trying to navigate their way through a very sticky situation where they're finding it hard to release something. Something is definitely stagnated and they're wanting to surprise you or come forward and make an offer. This is someone who wants to make an offer, yet they feel like something is set in stone. Uh, free for all. Someone is trying finding it hard to accept something when it comes to you. Someone doesn't want something to be final. They feel like they want to make an offer, but something may be changing or not negotiable. Someone feels like something is set in stone when it comes to you. Yet I feel for many of you, you're just waiting for this energy to actually put an effort into growing. I feel this energy put themselves in a sticky situation when it comes to their silence. Things that are hidden. But the fact that you didn't chase them. This is a runner chaser dynamic where someone thought that you would always be there or try to fix this. So they took a risk on being free. They took a risk on wearing a mask and connecting with those who meant more harm than good. Someone regrets hiding something from you because you didn't chase. You made an offer, but I feel for many of you, you had to let something be which caused a disconnect because someone was sitting in some type of illusion. There's a lot of disorder in their life because of, of the direction they chose to take. I feel because of the disconnect, there's a lot of grief, sadness, loneliness. They thought this was forever. Now they're broken and confused. I feel this energy is broken and confused because they realize they're the reason they lost you. They are the reason something had to end or something needed to be learned the hard way. I feel this doom and gloom energy is coming from something that is out of control or this energy is upset about who they allow to play games with their mind or their head. Puppet master energy, someone cared about what it looked like and not what it was. So something was lost with a soul connection, a close bond, a spiritual bond. Hmm. Where there's sudden change. Yeah, I sense this sudden change or unexpected event was only for them to live and learn. Someone is going through a lot of sacrifices to learn some valuable lessons. I feel this is a free for all where someone is needing to release control to accept, to, to accept the truth. I feel this energy is going through a lot, but I feel there's about to be some type of excel, acceleration. I feel this is some type of acceleration when it comes to communication or someone just coming in. This is someone who's going to be moving impulsively and they just might need a helping hand. Someone feels like they need your help. You're the power. They're the clay. Now they're thinking about how they ended something. How they ended the communication. How they ended the connection. Because they lacked strength and courage. And now they're on the outside looking in. 
watching, waiting, and wanting to reach out. I feel this energy has a lot of inner child wounds or things from the past that they need to resolve. This energy is going through a lot and needing to make a real change. And I feel something is going to happen quickly here. Lightning strikes. Something is accelerating. So I feel something is accelerating because someone definitely needs a helping hand. Especially when it comes to this unhappy feeling of despair, grief, and sadness this energy feels like they're in a free-for-all where anything goes but nothing has changed i feel this energy is going through a lot missing you and wanting things to change but i feel something is about to happen but maybe learning some hard lessons when it comes to their fear of missing out i feel this is someone who's going through a lot of changes in a free-for-all because this energy is needing to accept something for what it is no matter the consequences, someone needs to come in with the truth and nothing less. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's get some more energy here. So I feel like this energy was going back and forth within a situation where they needed to release something, yet the fact that they couldn't make up their mind, they caused a lot of distractions or confusion within the situation that only led to some type of separation. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who took a leap of faith in the wrong direction. This is why they're realizing the chemistry with you was something they should have never let go of this is why they want another chance to make amends however i do feel many of you gave them so many chances they just blew it all never taking you seriously now it seems they may be stuck in a loop a never-ending story where there is unfounded fears of unseen factors i feel this is someone who is on a journey of their dark side where something is brewing. I feel something is brewing when it comes to someone taming their energy, or even you, taming the beast. I feel this is someone who is sitting in regret for the choices as well as their betrayal. Someone knows they hurt you, yet I sense they're still sitting in the pain of their choices. However, something is brewing when it comes to taming the beast, or something is brewing when it comes to their journey where they know they were a fool Yet this energy knows they were a fool for plotting or playing games with you. I feel you have to cut the cords because someone was being too strategic or just not being authentic with you. They're coming out as the mysterious one. Always leaving things to mystery. And never truly telling the truth. Which is the real reason you have to cut the cords when it comes to a fool. I feel this is someone who was playing a battle of wits, which turned out to be a losing battle because something became a permanent mark, a permanent stain on your heart or even theirs. As I said before, this energy knows they dealt you a bad hand. They never gave this connection a fair try. As it seems, they've always given little to no effort, and this is why they are having a hard time fixing this. I feel this energy knows they dealt you a bad hand within a situation, and they were cold as ice, unbothered when they hurt you, and very toxic in their ways. Now this energy is wanting to have some type of breakthrough, because they, they truly do miss you. Someone misses the help the wise energy or your wisdom, the words that you used to tell them, the conversations, the positive moments, they feel like all of that has been overshadowed and they are tempted to come your way, but they feel like you may turn them into stone. Someone feels like you have a lot of harsh words for them, but I feel for many of you that is definitely not the case. I feel you have a big heart. You're just hoping someone sees that and is ready to just come in and tell you the truth. I feel like this energy feels you're going to have harsh words because they uprooted a family tree or family connection or close bond. This energy knows there are some old wounds that need to be healed between the two of you and they're wanting to reach out. 
And for some of you, it seems like they're just wanting to pop up because it's clear to me they truly miss you. Someone knows that there are unspoken words when it comes to affairs of the heart, but I also feel justice is playing throughout their life to create some type of balance because everything seems to be falling apart. I feel things are falling apart when it comes to someone who is very unstable. I also feel there's a lot of gossip or rumors that are starting to haunt them. And this is why they're wanting to resurrect something with you. Because someone is realizing without it, things will never be the same. I feel for some of you, this energy could be listening to music or something is definitely reminding them of you in the worst way. I feel this energy feels like they can't get away from the memory of you which is causing them to be haunted by their past. Someone regrets ghosting you because now they know they need to come in with the truth. Hmm. Well, someone knows they need to come in with the truth after hiding for so long. They could be strategizing or trying to figure out a way to come into this, but I feel to make this right with you, they're going to have to leave the strategy behind and just be authentic with you. This is why in so many ways it's somewhat of a losing battle, a battle of wits because this energy is always coming in with gameplay. This is why this energy is turning out as a fool because it's just as simple as being real with you, being honest with you instead of playing these games. I feel this energy has been in this phase of life for a very long time. It's almost hard to see or hard to heal. And even though this energy knows they don't have a lot of answers or honesty, <laughs> someone still wants a second chance with you. We have a King of Swords energy here. Wow, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is definitely letting me know someone knows they need to be honest about their finances that are in disarray. Someone knows they were being foolish when it comes to what they invested in or who they were generous to. Someone knows they need to be honest about the games they played. Queen of Cups, there's a lot of emotion when concerning you. They want your compassion, your unconditional love. But I feel you're being intuitive, hmm. listening to your gut, as you could be walking away, Eight of Cups. So for many of you, walking away is not a strategy. Many of you are trying to heal from this and others, you know, you need to walk away for this energy to finally make some changes. As I sense, many of you had to release something to transition or walk away to set some type of burden down because this is a big responsibility here with the Ten of Wands energy. I feel this Ten of Wands is letting me know there was an end to a cycle where someone was not being responsible. This energy is coming out as a fool. Someone who is always taking risks and needed a new perspective. Someone knows they clown themselves by making a harsh choice when it comes to a lover situation, a close bond, affairs of the heart. Hmm. Because they brought no justice, no truth to a situation where they may now be reaping what they have sown. I feel this foolish energy is going through a lot of cause and effect where there's a lot of addictions weaknesses and temptations for someone who was sitting in some very low vibrational energy someone regrets the fact that they had pyro energy and burnt something down to the ground with you as they're starting to see it won't be easy to mend this bridge after it's been broken I feel here with the moon card, there's a lot of secrets, fears, uncertainty when it comes to someone. Because here with the two of wands, there was no progress. There's no clear decision when it comes to this energy who brought a lot of competition, conflict, and drama. Five of wands. I feel this energy brought a lot of conflict to a two of cups situation where there should have been harmony. <sighs> and I feel you were pushed to your limits and now this energy is sitting in a space of regret this is a lot of emotion here queen of cups four of cups two of cups someone is thinking about the fact that they didn't bring harmony to this close bond or connection only drama only conflict now there is a sense of 
disconnect or regret. Hangman energy. Someone regrets not going within. I feel this energy regrets not letting something go here with the hangman energy or not going within because it only created a tower moment upheavals chaos and change someone definitely lit this a flame there's a lot of fire here here with the two of wands the five of wands as well as the tower energy is it's all burning it's all burning to the ground because someone failed to surrender and end a cycle here with the death card in the reverse someone failed to give gratitude now this energy is holding out wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups where they're wanting a breakthrough. Someone is wanting a breakthrough, some type of clarity after a tower moment where they know they gave you no closure, no truth, and for some of you, no respect. As it seems this energy was blinded by their own confusion, now they could be at a crossroads when it comes to avoiding you. I feel two of swords energy is letting me know that someone wants to come out of this state of confusion and tell the truth. But they also know that there's too much disappointment between the two of you. And for some of you, there's a lot of back and forth in others. You never tried to cause any conflict. You were always there to compromise. Now there's a lot of loss here with the three of swords energy where there was no change. Many of you could be guarded. And others, you're just fed up. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone failed to master something with you. I feel the communication fell through or there was confusion within communication because someone was unfocused when trying to do some type of balancing act with you. Someone's trying to hold on to you and something else. Yet in doing so, they hit rock bottom because they never allowed change to happen. Ten of Swords. Because they were overthinking something here with the Eight of Swords energy. So I feel someone was overthinking something due to their reckless or heartless ways. Here with the King, well, Knight of Wands energy. But they're now sitting in a space of grief, Five of Cups. Wow, this is a river of tears. Someone is feeling isolated from you. Invisible. Now they're having sleepless nights here with the Nine of Swords energy. There's a lot of fear and anxiety. I feel this energy is full of fear and anxiety, and this is causing them to feel trapped or overwhelmed, even overthinking something that is completely simple. Yeah, I said they're going to have to do way more than hope to make it right to make things right with you. Hmm. This energy is going to have to move with intention here with the chariot, yin to the yang. This energy is going to have to move. Make something right, Page of Pentacles. This is someone who has very little to offer, but they are wanting to communicate. They're thinking about the possibilities of making an offer, Page of Cups. Someone is wanting to make an offer from the heart, but I feel this energy is needing to grow or transform to get something right. Someone knows they need to make an offer of an apology and communicate what they feel. Someone is wanting to take action and be honest with you. Will of Fortune is letting me know there's a lot of lessons that they have learned or need to learn because they're not moving yet. Here with the world card, there's still some cycles that need to be completed. Wow. Communication is coming out again. Someone is wanting to manifest your energy and they're wanting to commit or communicate. And... <laughs> In so many ways, it could be happening at a time in your life where your ships are coming in here with the Three of Wands. Because I do see movement for you, whether that is through your career or some type of new relationship. Something is moving forward after hope and healing. You are the star. Someone definitely missed a blessing by trying to get over on you or doing something that caused a lot of confusion or damage to this connection because now this energy is walking around like damaged goods knowing they should have did more to resurrect something with you now someone is wanting to bring in gratitude someone is wanting to show appreciation for all the love and fulfillment that you gave because now they're seeing the difference between what you gave and what life is now giving Let's get a little bit more confirmation. I definitely feel this is someone who has very little to say 
Wow. Yeah, I also feel there's no real reason they took a chance against you. And even though they don't have answers to the questions that they know you have, it seems like they're just about to pop up or communicate with you in some type of way. And I sense this is just going to come out of the blue. Someone's wanting to reconnect or set their burdens down to come back towards you. They're just hoping that you're open to receive. Someone wants to make an offer because they know you're a blessing. You were innocent in this. Someone knows that you were innocent in this situation and they never should have took a chance on hurting you or destroying this commitment. They should have been loyal. And for some of you, they're feeling like they should have never left. I feel this is someone from your past. Hmm. I feel this is someone from your past who just wants to pop up or reach out. Yet I sense when they do, they just might do it with their head tucked between their legs and carrying a heavy load of emotional wounds and baggage that they just might need help to clear up. Yet I sense they may need to clean this up themselves because this is a mess that they created. I feel this energy could be at a, a crossroads when it comes to their secrets, fears, and even uncertainty energy where they could still be in some low vibrational energy of sabotage. This is self-sabotage for someone who needs to make this choice. Someone needs to make a decision because they are definitely at a crossroads. I feel this is someone who is at a crossroads when it comes to how they treated you. They know that you were innocent in this mess and they should have showed you more gratitude. For some of you, someone needs to do more than just thank you. Someone is needing to show their appreciation if they feel like you're unavailable or closed off. Someone feels like they're locked out or the door is closed in creating a new. I feel this is someone who wants to <sighs> climb over your wall or someone feels like you've built up some type of wall against them. I feel like they feel like there's a lot of challenges and hurdles when dealing with you. They feel like it's an uphill battle to create some type of balance or fairness because their stability is off. I feel this energy is <laughs> upset that things are not the same. Yeah, like since they were so relaxed or carefree when it comes to an illusion or a masquerade especially when it comes to love, a connection, or a romance that they were blinded to. Because now the chaos and confusion has gotten out of hand because of their denial and limited views of life. I feel this is someone who was running around with this victim complex where they know they broke your heart, caused pain, by never appreciating you. Yet this energy is wishing you were present in their life. They wish you were here now. In fact, this is someone who wants to communicate, send you a message of love. Someone wants to show you some type of appreciation. <laughs> appreciation, but they're still, they're still bound or stagnated when it comes to some type of conflict balance within their life or some type of masquerade where they were concealing something that is definitely gotten out of hand. Someone's tired of tiptoeing around the facts and hiding the truth because it's become a balancing act that has made something just more, a little bit more difficult than it needed to be because it seems this energy is weighed down and overwhelmed by, by what they have submerged themselves into. I feel this energy has submerged themselves into a false twin playing someone they thought was better than you or this situation they thought it was a come up, yet it was only a trauma bond, a toxic situation with a karmic relationship where they're now learning some very harsh lessons about the difference between you and someone else. Authentic energy and false energy. Someone knows that they were wrong for what they did 
now they are receiving the same energy, if not worse, when it comes to a third party or a false twin flame. This could be a karmic energy or someone they thought was a friend because there's a lot of lies and deception when it comes to something they feel they're submerged in, they can't get out of. And it's starting to weigh them down because there is no support. There's no stability, there's no foundation, there's no community, there's no family. This energy feels like they don't have a friend in the world after losing what they had with you. Because all they can see is what they had versus what they have. I feel something very unexpected is about to happen in their life. This is a sudden change, a shocking change, a lightning bolt of change where someone is about to be transformed, changed. Someone's about to evolve, whether they want to or not. Someone's realizing they have to come out of this mess intentionally. They just don't know a clear way on how to do it. Because at this point, it seems like they're more lost than they have ever been. They're just needing to heal from the trauma and actually do the shadow work. I feel many of you have been patient for quite some time and you gave this energy time to change even time to apologize and now they're hoping that that opportunity is still there they're trying to be optimistic about it now they're starting to feel like you may be too distracted or unavailable too busy too busy to even deal with this someone's regretting these choices because it got them nowhere now they feel like this is just an uphill battle of their false ways and over committing themselves to false environments. Because now someone is realizing they should have put more energy into it. Someone is realizing they should have never took this chance. Now this energy is wanting balance. And they feel like you're the prize. You're the target. I feel this is someone who wants some type of breakthrough and they see you as a nurturing energy and someone is trying to listen to their spirit guides and even their guides are fed up with them. I feel this is someone who needs to do something with effort and care. Someone is needing to persevere if they want to get next to you or create some type of bond with you. Someone is going to have to do something with intention to have some type of change or ever resurrect something. Many of you have blocked them and blocked them for good, but this energy feels like they still need to try. I feel this is someone who wants to regain some type of connection or balance, but they're also dealing with some karmic justice. And this is why they're finding it hard to recharge. Hmm. Wow. This is water energy where there's a lot of emotion. This could also be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please reverse the roles if necessary. But this is someone who wants you to be emotional or sensitive to their, their emotions, their problems, their actions. Because they are completely lost. This is someone who was lost and disconnected from you. Because they wanted to have their way. And I feel this energy was also disconnected. Because it was the only way they could do these things to you. They have to detach from their heart. And now they're dealing with a karmic energy. Or a false environment. This could be both. Where there is an imbalance when it comes to unfinished cycles. Even red flags. I feel this third party is causing things to be a little bit more rest, reckless than it needed to be. There's a lot of emotions attached to this false environment or third party where they're drowning. Drowning in something that is very overwhelming. Because they feel like they're just losing control. Losing control of their life as well as their mental peace. As it seems this third party just might be driving them crazy. And with the thought of losing you forever, this energy is really feeling reckless. I feel this is someone who is over emotional and still sitting in a space of fog. Someone's still a little blurred about what happened here. Only because they can't take the truth. Someone is wanting to ground themselves. Someone is wanting to be more grounded here with this 
earth energy you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn rest the rose if necessary but someone is wanting to move on and create some type of closure but they're also needing to relocate someone feels like they need to move or move on to really seek some type of justice from this karmic cycle or even from their horrible choices putting on a masquerade and wearing a mask I feel like this is someone who knows they took a chance someone knows they took a chance on this relationship or this connection and now they need your support they need your guidance they need your help someone wants to reach out to you to help them clean up this mess but I feel for many of you you're not cleaning this up because it would make it just that easy for them to do it again Someone needs to move with intention to clear a path or make a way for self and come out of this lost energy. Even if they have to move to create some type of balance, fairness. Because without it, they will only receive karma. I feel the karma is being lost or trapped with no hope. I feel this energy is feeling hopeless when dealing with this karmic energy. Where I sense uh, Cancer could be losing hope. This could be Pisces energy. Losing hope. Scorpio energy. Losing hope. Because someone is full of ego. Wow. Someone is full of ego. Was full of ego when they broke their promises. And created all of this confusion. Because now there's a sense of scattered thoughts. And this energy is really trying to make sense of what they've done. Or what they're going through. They're also dealing with some doubt. There's a lot of fears, limitations. This energy feels like they're in the dark and losing themselves in the process. I feel there's a lot of confusion, scattered thoughts when it comes to a fire sign. Someone knows that they created this flame. They started this war. They sparked this fuse by being a brick wall. Hmm allowing others to put a key in their back or create some type of difference between the two of you. Someone pushed you away, someone pushed you back. This is why you couldn't get any type of results or any resolve when it comes to this energy because this energy put up a wall. Now they feel that you have a wall up. Someone feels like you're emotionally unavailable, but I feel that it's their energy. It was never yours. I feel if you are at a distance, it's because you feel you need to because there's too much confusion when dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Please reverse the roles if necessary. But I feel here with the fire sign energy, someone knows they need to be bold. As I sense their apology just might have to be louder than their disrespect. I feel this is someone who needs to be bold when speaking about a third party, being sneaky or cheating or not being loyal. I feel this is someone who is now regretting all of the choices as it's now hard to overcome the obstacles they created through lies, jealousy, and rumors. There could be a lot of gossip going on about the situation and someone is at a crossroads when it comes to finances, the loss of money, the loss of respect. Hmm. This is someone who has gained a bit of a reputation and they're wanting to resolve something. They're wanting to clean something up, bounce back. And they could be making some type of acceleration towards you. Yet I sense before this happens, there's about to be a tower moment, a really big tower moment that sends this energy running in your direction. This is the accelerated movement. But as I said before, someone hasn't moved yet. But they will. And they will be moving quickly. As it seems, many of you have been very generous to them and they know it. And someone knows that they need to move quickly as they may have a very short window of fixing this. Someone knows they need to move quickly to resolve the situation and they could be at a crossroads when making a decision. Someone wants to change their course, change their path when it comes to a third party that disturbed their peace, broke their heart, and caused a divide when it comes to you. I feel there could be money issues attached to this third party. And something is about to take place. This is unexpected when it comes to someone who is shut down or in solitude. I feel this is someone who is needing to do something with a clear space or a clear heart, especially when it comes to you, because without it, there will be no change. 
And even though this energy knows that you have a huge heart and a lot of love to give, they now know they're not in a position to misuse it or abuse it. This could be an air sign energy here that you're dealing with, or this could be very unpredictable, you know, kind of in the wind. This could be an air sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Please take it how it resonates, reverse the rose if necessary. But this is someone who feels like they need to reach out, communicate, have some type of conversation with you, whether that is in person or not. Someone feels like they need to do something out of the ordinary, something that is clearly unexpected. This is why I feel something is just going to kind of come out of the blue. Communication is here twice. Hmm. Someone needing to send some type of communication. There could be an incoming message, a conversation. And here with the air energy, this is unpredictable energy of someone communicating. Someone wants something to be an open door here. They want an opportunity of transitioning with you, a new beginning after so many chances that has been given someone is in regret about disappointing you someone is in regret on disappointing you because there's a lot of guilt that they're trying to hide because in so many ways they know they need to transform and give you a true apology Someone needs to transform and give up the control when it comes to a feminine energy or someone who is very nurturing to them. I feel this energy is reflecting on the memories and wanting to rebuild, but they're also dealing with some very harsh wounds that need to be healed. This is someone who is recognizing they cannot replace you, but they're dealing with some broken dreams, a hardened heart, yet they still feel drawn to you. In fact, it's almost like a magnetic pull, as no one has truly ever loved them the way that you did. As it seems, many of you still care for this energy, yet I sense you started to care more about your sanity and them getting themselves together rather than continuing or repeating a toxic cycle with them. This is someone who needs to do more to do it right or get it right. As it seems, they may have already run out of chances, but I feel this energy feels like they can't move on or even deal with the guilt if they just don't try. As it seems the energy that they are receiving or attracted to you, hmm, someone is still drawn to your energy, so they're wanting to put something behind. Someone's wanting to let go of the baggage. Someone wants to heal and gain your support, your trust. But this energy is gonna to have to do way more than cry about it because there's a lot of hurt and pain here where someone was sitting in a very comfortable position when they were playing games with you. I feel this is someone who overindulged within a situation and you had to rise above it, gain back your power, do a little self-care. And for many of you, you just had to go with the flow. And if they let go, you did too. You're coming out as a warrior. I feel no one really knows what you went through with this situation because there's a lot of love and passion here. But someone did something very careless when it comes to your heart. Now they're wanting to achieve something with you. This energy is wanting to come back and create some type of spark between the two of you. They want to come together and override this. Someone is wanting to ride this out or weather this storm with you. But I feel they're also going to have to deal with the universe before they have any access to you. This is due to the cause and effect for someone still dealing with the karma. And this is the real reason why they have been denied access to you. Because something needs to be balanced out first. I feel something needs to be balanced out when it comes to a masculine energy, whether that's male or female. Someone is knowing that you are a true connection. They are very affected by the loss of you and they're wanting to take a leap of faith but they're going to have to take out the mask to do it and heal something when it comes to affairs of the heart i feel this is someone who needs to heal something within before they try to heal something with you to create some type of balance and release something that is clearly toxic this is someone who needs to align themselves to find some type of understanding or support even kindness from you you've been so generous to someone who didn't even care only because they always thought you'd be there now someone is wanting to 
find some truth, wisdom within a situation to break a cycle. <laughs> Turning into some type of secret agent. Someone is still keeping tabs on you or watching you. Yet they're still stuck. Locked down. When it comes to their secrets. Secrets that you... <laughs> Secrets that you were bound to find out. I feel many of you are very cautious. And since you're very cautious or at a high alert, many of you are looking first and asking questions later. I feel many of you have no desire to resurrect this, but many of you are kind of just wanting to see where this leads. Yet you want the truth first. You, they owe you that. Because if they don't, they just might be lonely forever. Always desiring your energy, your touch, and searching for you and others, and never finding that same energy. Because in so many ways, this is someone who needs to catch up. Because you have done the work. Now, they need to do the same. As it seems, the recent changes you have made has caused you to require more out of them, as well as life. Nothing more, nothing less. Just what you deserve and there's nothing wrong with that.